and this video we're going to be talking about Francesco Molinari's runaway victory at the Quicken Loans Championship. Let's go about the round. Hit the ball! Or you could take dead aim. Oh my, my goodness. Hey guys, I'm in full care on this channel. We do golf club reviews, geek speak videos, instructional videos, and golf gear videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I am on my way to work. I work at a golf course here locally in the Treasure Valley. So I thought I'd do a what's in the bag while we're driving and I apologize for all the shaking. Uh, these roads out here in Idaho aren't the best. But uh, let's talk about Francesco Molinari's what's in the bag and his basic clinic that he put on on Sunday uh, at the Quicken Loans uh, Championship. It was pretty spectacular to watch him play his round. I think over the course of the tournament, I read that he hit like 86% of the greens in regulation and like 71% of the fairways in regulation. I mean, he was nails, basically fairways and greens, fairways and greens. And that's really his game. If you kind of watch him at all on the European tour, it is fairways and greens he's not the longest one out there on tour but he does a great job of putting himself in position and on Sunday man I'll tell you what it was it was pretty much lights out he was aim and aim and shoot all day long there were shots that he hit that I was dumbfounded uh let, let me see if I can find the one and I'll post it right here that you guys can take a look at he just he crushed this shot I, I would not have ever thought anybody would have attempted to go for this pin, but man, it was it was pretty spectacular. Don't do anything stupid. Absolutely. 181 covers the shoulder in the middle of the green. Or you could take dead aim. Oh my, my word. goodness. Didn't think that was on, Peter. I mean, that, it's... How would you even attempt to go for that? And there's a couple of his shots that he went for that... It, it was basically, he was so confident with what he was doing, I, it was just amazing. Anyway, let's talk about what's in his bag, and we're going to start off with his driver, and he's going to be playing the TaylorMade M4 driver, 8.5 degrees, and he's using a Mitsubishi Tensei White 60X shaft. This is a daunting tee shot. Yes, the trouble's all the way down the right side here. Big hazard. No troubles for Molinari. He's like a machine. And the white shaft is going to be a little bit more of a mid-launch shaft. Uh, and that's what we're going to see throughout his bag. He's playing a bit more of a mid-launch, trying to help him get his trajectory right that he's looking for, as well as keep the spin just, uh, just in the right spot. So the Mitsubishi Tensei White, again, like I said, when I tried out the M4, that's what I had in it. And it was a little higher launching, a little whippier than I like. But obviously he's playing an X-Flex. I played a stiff shaft in there. Um, so that's also gonna help with the feeling of whippiness, trying to control the drives and control the shots. Moving on, he's going to be playing a three wood and a five wood. The three wood's going to be a tailor-made M3, 13 degrees with an Aldila Extortion Green 70X shaft. And this is going to be Aldila's new shafts that they've been working on. And they have a dual layer of inner and outer uh, carbon fiber weaving uh, that we're gonna be talking about later on in a uh, custom fit golf shafts video so you guys can take a look at that uh, coming up soon but this is a mid launch shaft the green shaft is going to be again that mid launch mid spin shaft similar uh, to the characteristics not necessarily the feel and stability but the characteristics of like say an envy green type shaft that mid launch uh, mid spin shaft and for his five wood, he's going to be playing the TaylorMade M4, 18 degree, uh, with it again, with an Aldila Extortion Green 70X shaft in that. For his four iron, he's going to be playing a TaylorMade P794 iron, and that's gonna be basically the theme. What I've seen from a lot of TaylorMade players is going to be that P790 for the four iron, trying to help with launch and getting the, the trajectory and spin, a little bit lower spin with that, a little bit more forgiveness. And then we're gonna be looking at for his five through pitching wedge, 
going to be the TaylorMade P755 through Pitching Wedge. And he's going to be playing the True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue X100 shafts in those. Let's just let's just take a look at a couple of his shots. I mean, they're basically like arrows, just like, pew. Let's take a look. Tom Tracer Technology tracking this one toward the flag stick and beautifully played again. Potential runner up finish. We go to 16. A couple club changes. That one coming from 144 into the breeze. Huh. Imagine that. Don't do anything stupid. Absolutely. 181 covers the shoulder in the middle of the green. Or you could take dead aim. Oh my, my word. goodness. Didn't think that was on, Peter. See if he can make a run to 61. Oh, oh, right down the stack. Beautiful. I know it's not exciting golf, but man, I bet that would be really fun to just basically walk up, ho-hum, boo, right down the middle, walk up, ho-hum, boo, on the green, two putt, right? I think that would be really exciting. And then if you get your putter going like he did, man, 62 on the Sunday. I mean, just, just completely obliterated the entire tournament. Wasn't even close. We all like the flashy DJ, let's crush the ball off the tee, but man. Anyway, let's talk about his wedges. His wedges, he's playing the tailor-made milled grind wedges, and they're going to be the 50 and 56 degrees, and then he's obviously going to be playing the cool hip tailor-made high toe milled wedge in a 60 degree and those are going to come with the tour issue s 400 shafts 35 yards to the hole and, and as we move on into his putter he's playing a betonardi das bb dash zero putter and he does just that. So. Interesting green complex here. Breaks from front to back. So this one moving from his right. Yeah, two putts here and he extends the lead by another one. Does he need both putts? Bad one. How about that for Molinari? For his golf ball, he's going to be playing the Titleist Pro V1X. And he's going to be using Lampkin LS1 grips for his clubs with, I believe those are going to be standard 58 rounds. So guys, let me know what you think about Francesco Molinari's game and whether or not that's the type of game that you would want. Are you looking more like a DJ, Jason Day, bomb it off the tee? Let me know what you guys think. What game would you rather have? Put those comments down below. And let me know if you guys are trying or have played any of the clubs that Francesco Molinari is playing in his bag. I look forward to hearing those as well. And while you're down there, of course, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up because YouTube likes that. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll chat with you next time. Walk up.